Okay, so the survey tab, uh, this is where you know the survey information is going to be listed. Um, so we're really after uh, two two things in this tab that need to be submitted, and that's what this uh, file type is for. So if we look at it, we have a fieldbook type and then a survey report. All right, so the fieldbook um, could be uh, a couple different things. Um, if you're using, you know, pre uh, SS4 Open Roads uh, intelligent tools, uh, you will have a GPK, uh, and that GPK would be what would be referred to as the field book. All right, so any GPKs found in the in the folder or project will be added to this tab. Um, but if you're processing, you know, survey with Open Roads. Uh, you should have a DGN file uh, with all of your server points um, and your processing stuff. So um, the DGN files get added to this as well, but it has to be within a survey folder. And that could be referred to as the field book uh, file type. Um, so we're really after you know all that data, the points and stuff. Uh, so that's the field book type. Um, now what else, the other type would be this uh, survey report. And so this survey report is actually an Excel file uh, that the survey section here in CAD mapping uh, developed and uh, we're still um, gonna polish it off, make it a little bit uh, cleaner, uh, but it is out there. Um, I actually don't have one in uh, the this PID folder that I selected, but uh, you can get a template from our website on our, if you go to the survey and mapping specifications, um, the survey master spreadsheet, if you download that, um, and it looks like, like this, okay, so, you know, in the past, you know, we've gone through a lot of projects where we just don't get the survey data. Um, and it's really needed. Um, so this is the attempt to actually start getting this data. Um, there is a, a how-to which we'll be updating and I'm just going to quickly just mention some things in here. We will have a separate video for how to fill out this in the future but um, the main thing here is uh, the survey report tab. You know we definitely want this information filled out. Um, we're going to you know, remove some stuff because uh, the index kind of replaces it. But definitely want to know the data and coordinate systems. Um, we also want all the control points listed. Uh, it's definitely um, something that we haven't been getting always, and it's kind of important to get that kind of data. Uh, the level run stuff, uh, the tin accuracy, uh, monument table. Those are the main ones. Um, so we'll have a separate video to go over, you know, how to fill this out, what really needs to be filled out um, in the future, and we'll clean it up. But uh, for now, just know that, you know, we need this survey information when you go to submit. If you, if you were the one that did the survey stuff, so. Um, so you would, you know, save that into your your survey folder. Um, and then it would show up here if it was inside the survey and an Excel file extension and then you know, you would put that type as a survey report. Um, and then you know you give it a file description. And that's uh, what we're after for the survey section. So you would select you know your stuff um, and then place it to the sheet. Again, you know place will clear out anything listed and then place, we have selected, whereas append will add um, to what's already there, but it won't let you place the same file again. Okay, so the next video I'll go over 3D models.